the administration at Santa Monica College is attempting to institute an apartheid billing structure for classes. Students were not allowed to attend the initial meeting to discuss this proposal. The administration justified this action by saying the room in which the meeting was scheduled to be held was not big enough to accommodate the students. The agenda item for this meeting was a discussion of establishing a two-tiered billing structure for classes in a public institution. Students of means would have access to the most highly sought classes. All the other students would have to pay a penalty or simply not have access to the classes in a public institution. After the students physically installed themselves in the meeting and faced security forces and pepper spray, administration reluctantly agreed to a second meeting the following day. Besides the obvious structural flaws described, there are larger issues. The economic system that the educational system depends upon for financing is based on an unsustainable, global, parasitic economy. My initial thought is this public vehicle should be organized and owned in a cooperative structure. This suggestion would sidestep the many levels of entrenchment that are designed into the current system. Some of those entrenchments include constitutional level defects that favor monopolies that are then undertaxed into a supposed budget crisis. Other defects include an unmanageable, unsustainable public employee system. That system includes those who would milk the system for as much as they can get out of it with no thought to the students, no thought to the system, no thought to education, period. A cooperative structure would vest all the players with ownership. The students, administrators, staff, the general public, the taxpayers, everybody, the global community. A public institution, especially at a college level, which in itself is a second tier institution that was created to be a vehicle for students with low financial ability. The current proposal is solely a corporate predator structure that attempts to establish apartheid in a public vehicle. Its only goal is to exclude the vast majority of students from modest or low income. It would only exclude people of color. The only thing it would solve is one, perpetrating apartheid, two, ensuring that affluent Americans have access to education and everyone else either does not or has to pay a premium for the privilege of associating with those lucky few humans.